Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a quick uh, video because this knife right here, the Micro Shrike, is dropping today. So, Urban ADC, this is their uh, knife. It's designed, obviously, by a maker, um, and they are going to drop, I believe, their remaining stock after the pre-order. And initially, I wasn't that excited about this knife. It was kind of just another Riot, you know. Um, and I did an unboxing of this, which hasn't posted yet. So I'm going to kind of repeat myself a little bit. But I wanted to kind of do a dedicated um, video talking about this. Um, this has really surprised me. They sent me one of the final production versions. And it's super uh, well built. It's very fun to play with. It's such a good size. I have a large glove size hand. It just melts. Um, it has a beautiful hollow grind. I love this little poon right here. The action is really good. Uh, the thumb stud placement still weird, but I gotta say it fires out of there. Um, same for the reverse flick just laps out of there. It does work left-handed pretty well, actually. Get that flick going real well. And I can, because it's small, I can go right to the pivot and reverse flick it out. Uh, the biggest gripe I have with this is the clip is just kind of ugly. <laughs> um, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it definitely looks better on this with the full tie. The one I reviewed, the prototype, was uh, my Carta show side. So... Uh, this guy is dropping today, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll link it in the description. So if you guys want to pick one up, um, you can do that. I'm going to pull up the, um, the drop and see if there's any other information I can give you guys. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Okay, so we have the Micro Shrike dropping oh and the urban edc collaboration uh shuffle pre-order drops tomorrow um so it looks like it's going to be 205 dollars and you can get in on the pre-order for the loudy shuffle um in zerk the one that uh has the urban edc sagaha pattern i had one um but i sold it because there was a dude that i like uh, on Facebook, and I saw him post and say he missed out on it. He really wanted one, and um, it's just not my favorite fidget. It's a great one, just not my personal favorite, so I let it go to him. Um, otherwise, I'd show you, but it's fantastic, and let's be real. A lot of you guys are going to want it because it looks dope as shit in your Instagram pics, <laughs> and, um, you know, so... It does, and so I, I think it's a good product to pick up for that. It's zirconium, two hundred five bucks. The price is on point. I know that's a lot of money, but um, the price is on point. By the way, these are two ninety nine. Um, so you know, um, the pre order was cheaper, but I think Riot made full titanium M three ninety build. It, you're right there at three hundred uh, three ninety. Sorry, two ninety nine. Um, even though it is odd that the basically same build here was 260. Um, but you know, I know this is a box Nez. I just noticed there's like blue shit inside of the screw there. I guess somehow got Loctite in there. That's weird. <laughs> oh, is that from the, that's actually from the, um, it's from the, uh, foam in my knife case. Um, but yeah, um, this has a, a designer as well, but maybe because it's a, a titanium liner lock instead of a frame lock. Uh, I don't know why. Milled clip instead of the kind of slap-on clip they had on this. I have a re replacement clip, but I have a hand satin here, and it costs less. Ah, interesting stuff. Uh, fantastic knife. By the way, there are uh, some F5.5 still available as we speak. I believe the denim and acid wash and the uh, white G the stormtrooper are both available. So if you're interested in those, um, definitely check that out as well. Um, again, link is down below. And yes, this video is essentially here 
for you to know there's a drop and you could use my link. I am shilling right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I saw somebody post on Instagram and it was like calling out shills. And it's like, dude, I'll shill all day. If it's something I genuinely love, I will shill for that shit. Now, I know the word shill doesn't mean that, right? That, I'm just promoting. But uh, I like to use it because, you know, I'm that guy. Um, I like to make fun of myself. So, um, you know, I, I will 100% tell you right now, go use my link and buy these too. Like, why wouldn't you buy these? They're so good. If you can afford them and they're in your wheelhouse, get them, you know? Um, but the, here's a size comparison for you. Seriously, I might pick this up off of uh, Urban EC. I might just ask to keep it, just pay them for it and keep it because um, I really like this. It's just, it's super comfortable in the hand. It, uh, for me, it actually, you know, works left-handed really well. That hollow grind is gnarly. Um, you know, if it just had a different clip, maybe I can get one made or something. But uh, 300 bones, you know, um, I think I'm going to dish it out myself. I think I have some uh, compass points built up. So I might be able to knock 100 bones off of this puppy and um, and pick it up for like 200. So uh, I will probably use my own link <laughs> and buy one of these. Um, but yeah, there's a couple F5s left right now. Actually, we can go take a look. Uh, they also have dropping right now the uh erling edc and mads creations collab coin um so if you've seen that's like 40 bucks that's not bad and the combat beads mk2 bit driver and white g10 i kind of want to try one of those because i've tried the mk1 a bunch of times but this is the mk2 i just don't like their white g10 it, it just gets dirty so fast and then they also have, that's 100 bucks. And then they also have a Laulima Metalcraft Hoku flashlight. If you search that, you'll see my videos come up. I had one. It's a custom twisty. They're really cool. I like love that light. And I swear they're like 100 bucks cheaper than they were. And this is titanium. But it's a twisty. And I just can't love a twisty, you know? Um, there's also some beads. And then, like I said, the shuffle and the, the um, micro strike. So what I'm going to do real quick is just search F5.5, which is so funny that that's like the thing that they have auto typed in there. Um, okay, so right now, I think I was wrong. I apologize, guys. Um, the JG10 and the Stormtrooper are available. Both are $239, so 240 bones, and you can get a sick knife. They both have the PVD... Uh, blade which is really good um i actually quite enjoyed those when i had them um i kept them for a little while i you guys know me i wanted to keep this one this is my favorite f5 i think of all time so um you know i just stick with one because i almost never carry this one just because of how uh the circle of knife is but um yeah so that is the drop. That's what's coming up, I guess. And then let me see if there's anything else that we can uh, check out. Uh, looks like they have some Exo sets. That Microtech kind of just it does nothing for me, if I'm being honest. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that guy. Um, but they still have Javelina Jacks. So they still have... Let's see if they still have the fat carbons. Natural canvas. Nope. All of the uh, fat carbons, camo carbons are sold out. So this is my um, Brittany Blue. Brittany Blue Javelina Jack. This was the last release from Jack Wolves. They're taking a month off, um, which is like torture to me. But um, I haven't carried this one since the drop. I was kind of rotating back through the ones I have. Um, but I might give this one some pocket time tomorrow. Really love the action. Walk and talk and everything on this. Uh, there's my Northwoods Leatherworks slip. Uh, speaking of Urban EC and, and uh, Northwoods, I have a uh, Northwoods slip on my Barley prototype, which is the design from Colin and I that they're working on. Um, 
and uh, that one is supposed to be announced in April. So hopefully that knife is coming at some point soon. Uh, really excited for that. Um, but let's see what else they got knife-wise. I saw they have the tactile rock wall knives. So the new seasonal release knives um, are up on Urban EDC, uh, which is pretty cool. There's four of them, it looks like. I don't know which ones are in stock because we're going to play this game again. And this is at the time of me filming this, which is the night before. So um, March 7th at like 10 p.m. Uh, looks like they have the Overlander and the Safety First version still available at this moment. Then there's those Basilisk knives from Matsy. I posted a video on that yesterday. Well, it, up, it went up yesterday. And um, that one is pretty cool. It just reminds me too much of a Synapse from Vero, so it's not for me. Uh, they have a pre-order up of the Urban EDC Baby Barlow. So this knife right here that I absolutely adore, this knife has stuck around pretty long for me, guys. Um, the one that's up on pre-order is the same exact build as this, except, okay, not same exact, same build as this, except it has a antique bronze inlay, and then it has a, um, is it acid wash on the blade? Looks like an acid wash on the blade. Yeah, acid wash on the blade. That's going to be a cool looking knife. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pick one up, but I'm hoping they come out with a couple other ones. So I'm going to hold off on it. Um, but this knife is incredible. So if you ever get a chance to pick one of these up, if you don't already have one, I think you should. It, it really is um, one of the best knives that dropped last year and totally one of the under the radar, in my opinion. Um, really dig it. Just super comfortable knife for being so small. It fits the hand so well. It really does. It's, it's impressive. Um, I love the action. I just love the design overall. So really good stuff. That's the baby Barlow. I think they still have these, um, the Monaco. I actually have a custom slip here from, let me see if they still have it. Uh, uh da, 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 da. let's see maybe not um they still have some pre-orders up like the dutchman is still up for 259 the uh pre-order for the kvist bladeworks vanish 119 dollars guys go buy one of those it's fucking insanely good that's probably my favorite kvist knife ever so highly recommend Picking one of those up, $120, and I think it's in 20 CV and titanium. Um, hit that link, baby. Go get one of those suckers. Um, <laughs> they still have the uh, bronze tie inlay Pratheon. I mean, they got all types of sh here. The Focus Works uh, Bob the Box Cutter in aluminum for 100 bucks, And, yes, they do have the Monaco for 229 they have these for $229. Absolutely love this knife, guys. Um, this is the Cobalt Blue. $229? That's, I mean, yeah, it's small, but for M390 and everything, it's a, it's a good I mean, just look at this thing. <laughs> it's just so good. I know it's uh, small, and it has the daggery blade, but again, really comfortable in the hand, and it will open your Amazon boxes. I do need to get an edge put on here. Or... Maybe I'll test out my new stropping, stropping compounds with it. See what I can do. Um, but just a pleasure to operate. And without the clip, it really is like a really nice worry stone. And then I put it in this custom slip. And it's just, yeah, really fun to carry. Um, I enjoy this knife quite a bit. Uh, let me see. I'm coming up on 15 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I'm sure, you know, um, some of you guys are hating this infomercial. <laughs> um, I think they're dropping next week. They're dropping the urban LCs, the ones they have left over. So, um, if you're more into that one, totally get it. It's probably going to be around this price, uh, you know, around 300, I think. Uh, but I gotta say this week's drop, the micro strike, this thing's dope. Uh, will I actually ultimately buy this one? Man, I don't know. 
I want to. That's the way I'll put it. Um, I want to buy it, but I just can't buy everything anymore. I've come to realize that I just spend money and then I sell it. And it's like, I already have it here to review. Like, why am I now going out of my way to buy it and then sell it later? Because I ultimately don't keep anything because of the circle of knife, which I'm going to do a video on that, I think, because um, I need people to understand the process. <laughs> uh, but this is awesome. So if you're interested, pick one of these up. Link is down below. I'll uh, I'll stop talking your ear off about it, but um, it's really cool. It is. I'm, uh, I'm actually really glad I decided to ask to check one of these production ones out because I wasn't really that high on it when I had the prototype. Like I reviewed it and gave it positive marks because it's a good knife, but I personally just wasn't that interested because at the time, everything coming out was a Riot thumb stud drop point frame lock. Everything. You know what I mean? And it just kind of wore me down. Uh, that clip, just a touch at the tip there is a little bit of a hot spot. But, um, yeah. Anyway, check it out if you want. If you don't, obviously, don't. Um, and if you have another creator, you love their link, go use their link, you know. Um, but support somebody if you can. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I love you all, truly and dearly. Would you like to see a uh, Wednesday kind of Urban EDC drop update video every week? Like, I can do this, drop it at like 1 p.m., a couple hours before the drop, give you a heads up of what's coming, give you the links, um, and then, you know, you guys have somewhere to go every week to kind of know what's coming what's interesting, what my thoughts are on them in case you care. Um, I think that would be a fun kind of thing to do. So let me know what you think. But I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.